everyone, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this month's crystal reading. This is my bag of crystals. In a moment, I'm going to dip my hand into the bag, take a crystal for all of us, read the energy, the color, the crystal vibration, see what's coming up for us for this month ahead, for March. Then I'm going to ask you to select either crystal one, two, or three, and you can move along to your specific crystal, whatever your choice is, for a message for you. I'd also like you to see if you can intuit what that crystal is or maybe what the color is before I take it out of the bag. Yeah, that's just an extra thing. Okay, so let's see what have we got here. <laughs> What's in the crystal bag? So, see if you can intuit what the crystal is. I take all the crystals out. Now this is a piece of chrysoprase. It's it's almost it's got a little bit of a translucency to it. it. Looks a little bit on this particular video. It might look a little bit like amazonite or amazonite. It's a beautiful green that is a little bit. It's almost kind of psychedelic green in some respects. So chrysoprase, it links in with the heart. So it's very much about heart healing. It's about clearing your chakras, clearing your energy. There's a grounding vibration that comes with this as well. But to me, this is very much about healing. I see with this as I'm as I'm feeling into it, I see that energy expanding. So it feels like something's going to expand on that green heart vibration. So this could be more friends coming in, could be more abundance, more money coming in, or more opportunities for wealth coming in right now. Now there is, um, it's like there's a mossy kind of energy with this too. There's a mossy look to it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an extra little piece that's there. It doesn't quite show up on this video, on the camera. But with that, when I'm, I'm looking at it, it feels almost like there is something that you're going to clear away. I'm seeing little sparks now as I say this, and sparks for me are the truth. It feels like you're gonna clear something away and it's it's almost as if you're you're finding something so you're finding something that you put away you kind of forgot about and now it's coming back into your life and it's it's like it's a new thing for you you're ready for it so it could be a book that you bought you put away and now you're ready to read it it could be some knitting that you put away it could be a course that you put away it could be a letter you are writing that you put away and now it's coming back and it's going to be the right time for you. So feel almost as if something's going to be uncovered and it's coming back into your life. And I feel like there's a new, there's a new vibration that comes with that. There's a new sense of adventure, newness. It's going to start you on this fresh new track. I also feel with this that there's a trip not going to be the same for everybody, but I feel like there's a, a connection to friends. Again, it's that opening up of the heart. It feels like there's a connection to friends and it could link in with either going on a trip or it's just that they're, they're not necessarily in your local environment. They seem to be a little bit further away. So there may be some kind of travel coming up with this as well. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you to select either crystal one, two, or three. You can move along to your crystal and remember, see if you can tune in to what the color is and what the crystal is. Okay, crystal one, let's see what you've got. <laughs> My bag's getting so big that I have to be careful not to let all the crystals out. All right, we have another green crystal here. This is Moldavite. You can't see it so well. If I can move that around, it's, this is a very glassy look. 
so you can't you only see it looking like it's very dense but it's actually got a glass a glass look to it so you can almost it has a translucency to it this of course comes from the heavens meteorites coming down to earth so it is in effect glass but it's coming from space so if that's the case then the message for you is that something is coming out of the blue even though it's green something's coming out of the blue some kind of surprise is coming to you and I I feel almost as if it was so unexpected that it's out of this world there's a sense of it being just out of this world and I I have this sense of you know eyes being so big it's like whoa this has happened I feel like it's something good so it's not something that's sort of scary but with this green energy as well I feel like it's going to bring you down to earth it's almost like it's going to ground you in this moment it's a wake-up call so something is going to happen that wakes you up so this is, to me, this feels like something good. Now when Moldavite comes in, it also says that there's connections to other lives, other lifetimes, to other planetary existences. Now this may not be your reality. It may not be something that you believe in, that you embrace. So then we look at it from a different perspective and say that that there's a new life starting or there's some connection to some previous way of being that's coming up for you right now in your life and it feels almost like it's alien to you so it may be that we we're talking about in that first crystal about friends and a connection to friends I'm feeling the same thing with this it doesn't always come up with green but I'm feeling the same thing that maybe a friend is coming back into your life and they could have been there when you were a particular kind of person that you had a particular way of being and that's not your way of being anymore and this friend may not resonate with you anymore so I'm feeling that it's almost like something's feeling uncomfortable around a friendship that is coming back into your life so I get this sense when I'm looking at this that you need to establish your boundaries realize who you are right now what are your values and really stand up for yourself that's what I'm feeling this is all about because I I get this sense of you being a little bit different from others and you are a different person now there's a good energy that goes with that but I feel that you need to establish your boundaries and also establish who you are really focus on your truth on being your truth and standing your ground okay number two see what you have okay. It's <laughs> a rough stone. So this is a piece of spinel. This is a piece of red, pink spinel. So looks a little bit like ruby as well, but yeah, spinel. So this is the fairy godmother stone. So with this, it's saying that you are protected. You're being looked after. That somebody around you is saying, I'm always here. I'm always here to look out for you. I'm always here to support you, help you, guide you, and to help you manifest whatever it is you need right now. It's not necessarily what you want, but it's what you need. That's that fairy godmother energy coming in. What's interesting to me is that I didn't keep the stones out of the bag, but this is red and we started out with green. This is an opposite on the color wheel that red energy I feel that there's an aspect of this that's about working that there's something that you need to work at right now and it's gonna take time it's taking a lot of time I feel like there's some hard work coming up 
This is not a bad thing. Doesn't mean you have to slog away at something. I feel that with that red energy, that you're working towards something that is building up. Let's say your, um, your wealth, or it's building up your happiness, or it's building up a foundation for something that will develop over the course of this year into something that is much bigger, much more stable and secure for you. I feel like the security that's coming in for you. Red stones often link in with grounding, of course, and with this one, with Kundalini, with energy coming up. So I feel like this is a highly creative time for you as well. So you're going to find that ideas are coming in really quickly, but I feel that with this energy, you're going to know which one needs to be grounded into this time and which one you can develop into, into something that's going to be possibly passive income for you, but you really have to work hard at it to begin with. The final thing with this, I'm being told because of that fairy godmother energy, is that there is a celebration that's coming up. There's a party time that's coming up for you. And I feel an urge to tell you, you need to do that. You need some fun. You need some party time. All work and no play will make you dull. So make sure that you get out and play. It's going to help that creative genius in you as well. Okay, number three, let's see what you have. Okay. <laughs> Digging deep into the bag. So this is a Dalmatian stone. So look at that, it has black spots on it, and it's kind of a beige color. I often think of that as gold as well. Now, because of these little dots, to me, because of these little dots, it's a pattern. So this stone can be about releasing patterns, letting go of patterns. With these dots, I'm getting this sense of ticking something off. So it's almost as if you have a list, a to-do list. And I, I feel as if this month you're going to be ticking things off. Okay, I've done that, I've done this, I've done the other. But I also feel that you're going to be letting go of something, that it's not just about a to-do list, but it's about letting go of something that maybe doesn't serve you, there's almost a sense of, you know, looking in your garage or looking in a space where you've got a load of stuff and now it's, so now where can I put this? Where can I move this out to so I don't need it anymore? It can be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be that you are releasing all worn out ideas or fears or anything that's too deep emotionally. It could just be something that's very physical that you just want to move out to make space for something new to come in. Now what this also does is it, because of those little dots of black, I think of it, I think of it like a newspaper. So you're, you're looking at the black writing on the white background and it's where is that writing going to go? So I feel that you're going to be organizing things this month, maybe editing something as well. It could be literal because I'm seeing that image. It could be literal around editing a book or editing a blog or editing um, your uh, work resume, maybe you're putting out for a, for lots of different jobs, That little, those little black bits could be lots of different jobs that you're going for as well. But one other thing that comes in with this, because of the editing energy, is not to overanalyze things. So don't try to think too deeply about what's going on and why it's going on or, or what you need to do. I almost feel as if you need to let go, again, let go of going too deep into something because when you go too deep into something sometimes, it gets in the way of where you need to be going. So it can be, it can be something that we create because we're resistant to that next step. So it feel almost as if you just need to let go of some of the details and go with that bigger picture. I feel that those little dots are about the details. So, ooh, 
<laughs> just had a little little vibration there coming through which which was a reminder that this is a stone which is about picking energy up it's a it's a little pick me up so i feel that this is saying that there is something coming into your life which is going to boost you it's going to boost your confidence it's going to boost your morale it's it's going to boost your um feeling that you're on the right path that's the sense of it. It's just, it's saying to me right now, stick with it. Keep on going. You're on the right track. Everything's going to be okay. Just don't look too carefully at the details. Just look at that bigger picture and you'll be okay. Okay, that's it for this month's Crystal Messages, Crystal Colorscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up let your friends know about it i'm sure they would love to have a crystal message and let me know in the comments below if the message has resonated for you i will see you next month lots of crystal blessings to you bye